and welcome to more Kirby Star Allies! Last time we did Planet Misting, which for some reason unlocked not one, but two different stages. I don't know, I don't know if this one would have unlocked anyways if we didn't get the big switch. I don't know, man. We got Extra Planet A, or Alpha, and over here we've also got Marine Moon. So what do you say we do both of them? Let's go start with Extra Planet Alpha, I guess. Might as well. Considering it has Alpha and it doesn't just say Extra Planet, I'm guessing there's going to be more than one of them throughout the world. I think that World 4 has way more stages than the rest of the uh, rest of the game, basically. But I guess we'll see. I'm going to use my ESP ability to warp all over the place and throw balls at people. Yeah! Let's go inside Mr. Red Door. I think there's just a rainbow piece for this place. I don't think there's any switch. As usual, I don't think the uh, side stages ever have big switches. It'd be kind of weird to have a secret stage hidden within a secret stage. I don't know why I thought there was something over there. I just saw the guy running that way. Can we do anything here? That's the question. It seems like it's totally blocked off. Uh, we can kill that guy. Cool. Well, I sure feel like I'm missing something. Suplex me, bro! And that did nothing! Oh, well, that's confusing. Maybe that is something that we'll come to later. We'll find out. There might be some particular power we need or something we have to do there. Oh, whoa! Or it turns to nighttime when we leave. Okay, so we can actually control the time of day by going inside these doors. I don't know if there's going to be any secrets hiding behind different times of day. Oh, I bet you this block here will move at daytime, right? So what if we go back in here? Will that change it? Let's find out. If it changes, that's awesome. Um, okay, it's like daytime again, but it's not fall anymore. I don't know how this is going to work, guys. We'll just keep going in the doors and see what happens. I guess we'll go underneath this guy. I guess I just bonked on his head. You know what? I'm not even going to bother killing you guys. You're not worth my time. I'm just going to jump right over you. So right down here, we need some electric, which I think... Yeah, we've got plugs still, so we're fine. Oh, can you hit that, please? Okay, he's going to get suplexed. I'm not trying to get you suplexed, dude. Now, we've already got the zap hammer, but once we go into the water, it puts it out. So we have to find a way to get rid of this water. So let's go inside the door here, see if there's any way to lower this water so we can hit that electric switch. So I guess Extra Planet Alpha... Yeah, we've got the water still. Maybe if we get to winter or something, it'll... Uh, freeze it. I don't exactly know how this is going to work, but I can tell you guys it's uh, <laughs> pretty complicated by Kirby standards. Yeah, let's see what we got inside this door on the right here. And it's back to nighttime, so let's see if the water... It is frozen, okay. So now maybe we could just break it if we get some fire ability. And there you go, conveniently, there is Mr. Fire Guy. So we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, you know, I'll get him on my, uh, as my own power up here. And we'll just go ahead and burn all this crud and then have him zap hammer that if we can. Go ahead and zap it. Go ahead and zap it, dude. He's not going to zap it, is he? There he goes. He zapped it. Okay. So let's see what that gives us. Another door. <laughs> of course it's another door. This is just like the world of doors. I feel like I'm in some kind of Monsters Incorporated crud or Kingdom Hearts. I don't know, man. There's the, the rainbow puzzle piece we were looking for. And a bunch of one-ups. Smooching all of our friends. Okay, guys. We had, a, we had a little smooch fest. It's time to move on now. So with that door done, I guess we'll just uh, keep going to the... I don't know if I should go left or right. I guess we'll go right. So if we go back inside this door, I don't know if we can just move to the right now. Let's find out. I think this will take us back to fall, won't it? Uh, no, it takes us to spring or summer or whatever season this one is. So I guess we'll do that, and now we can move on. Now, this door was not a red door, so I guess we can't go back and forth. I think this one's just going to actually move us on to the next area. And the next area happens to be underwater. And also, we have to not get squished. So I'm guessing if we get caught between that thing and the dirt blocks, it'll probably kill us. So let's not let that happen. Let's just make sure we stay ahead of this thing and hit all these switches as we go. There we go. Now, if it wouldn't kill us by smushing us between the dirt and that thing, I'm sure it'll definitely kill us if it smushes us into these gosh dang metal pieces. There's a bottle of milk back there I missed. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, gotta go back and forth. Back and forth. Oh, gosh. Got Mr. Hermit Crab or whatever that guy is. I think I was calling them snails before, but I think they're hermit crabs. Okay, we got the puzzle piece there. Let's go up, dude. Let's get some, get some stars and go through this door here. Are right, we gonna get chased by more squishy things? Okay, we're still underwater, but we're gonna get out of water real quick here. And now we're back to fire mode. Now we got the bomb guy. I don't actually know if we can get the bomb guy as a friend. I should probably try that. Because if we could get him, it's probably really good. We got the twin Kawasaki here. And honestly, just breathing fire on them doesn't seem to be doing too much damage. So let's see if I can, uh, you know, I'm gonna check my abilities real quick. I don't, I don't do this too often, but let's go check to see what things we can do. Fireball Inferno. Press and hold to the side during fire breath. That sounds pretty handy. Down and B prior to landing for fireball roll. Down and B in midair for fireball spin. And press A during fireball roll for fireball jump. Huh. So we can do like this. Whoa, look at that crud. So I guess that works out pretty well. Let's do like some down B. Oh, and I dropped it. Oh, let's see if we can eat it again. There we go. Back to fire mode. 
Yeah, so that works out pretty well. I also want to try the Fire Inferno thing. If we just hold B and hold to the side. I think it just makes my fire bigger. I'm not doing the best job at avoiding damage, but honestly, I never really tried too hard because we, we usually just don't seem to die. Although this time might be different. This time we might actually die. I gotta wiggle my joystick here. He took my power up. Always taking my power up. So I'm gonna try not to die here. I'm trying to, there we go, trying to do the Inferno. There we go. I, I don't know if that's what I, I, I don't know if that's the actual Inferno, but we're gonna become a chef. Let's do it. Uh-oh, Bonkers is dead. No Bonkers. Okay, if I can end my chef ability, I can go help Bonkers here. Twin Kawasaki almost dead. Well, one of them's down, but the second one is not too far behind. It gives us lots of food, and we got Cook Potluck as well. That's cool. So let's go ahead and get this guy revived. And we got a bunch of food here. There we go, do some smooches. All that food from the chef ability definitely helps out. I wish I could save my friend right there. But now that I have no ability, uh, I can't really uh, hurt the guy without shooting stars at him. So I gotta figure out when I can shoot stars. Okay, I, or we'll just be done. You know what, let's go ahead and get this guy on our team. If, you know, Bonkers died during that fight. I think it's time to replace Bonkers. If he's gonna die on the fight, he does not deserve to be here. Although, I don't know if we can actually do lightning abilities now because we just got rid of that guy. I got lots of puzzle pieces here though. Now, if you do end up having to repeat stages to get puzzle pieces to fill out the boards, a stage like that where you get like five of them might not be a bad choice if you could just do it over and over. Um, <laughs> what do we need all this food for? I guess Chef Kawasaki could be like our healer. Not that we really need that, but okay, let's go inside the golden door here and see if we can finally do good on the goal game. Just want to get a one. I just want to get a one. Okay. No, that was too early. Gosh dang it. It's gonna be a two. Yeah, yeah, do your stinking little dance, you guys. Give me a hot dog, man. Okay, we got six more puzzle pieces. Slowly filling out that board. One piece on that board, finally. And that's only gonna do one for that, so we got three more to go for that board. Yeah, early on, the rainbows were filling in like four slots, but now they only do one. Yeah, well, so we've got that done. Let's go and do the other stage over here that we unlocked last time. This one is Marine Moon. All right, dude. Okay, here we go. I guess we could try to eat this guy. I kind of ended that last stage without a copy ability. Can't turn into a fish. I don't think any of these guys give copy abilities. That should, though. Let's go get that guy. And there you go. It's been a while since we had Parasol. Might as well use that. It does have the water element to it. We've also got Sir Kibbles right there, but we're going to move on. I think, wow, the Parasol is actually really awesome because you can use it underwater, apparently. So I don't think any of the other abilities I've tried so far have been able to do that. We could go up right there. There might be a secret. So let's go see if there is. And there is a red door. So this might be where the rainbow is. I love me some rainbows. Let's go, let's go see if we can find it. Let's go, gotta go down here. Oh gosh, I don't know if that's me or if that's the current, but we're going fast. I think it's from the from the water current here. Let's see, I think we have to hit that. Oh, maybe we don't have to hit that bomb. I don't know, man. Seems like hitting the bombs is important, but who knows, man. Ah, go down, hit that bomb. Okay, so we didn't miss that. And because we didn't miss it, we get the rainbow. We also get potentially this guy. I don't know if that's just another Chef Kawasaki. Um, we're gonna replace the old one with the new one. It's the same guy. It might look orange. The one that we uh, picked up might look like he was orange, but no, nope, he's blue. I don't know why they're all blue. It's got some Eiffel 65 action up in here. I uh, guess we're gonna go back to the main path. Ow! Can I not lose my parasol? Gosh dang it, man. You can't suck up the abilities when you're underwater, so we're back to having no copy ability here. Um, we could probably pick one up right here. If I do the, uh, the split thing, let's go ahead and reset. And I think if we do that, I can go ahead and get this one for me. And we can get these ones as friends. Actually, you know what? We can just get all of them back as friends, can't we? I could go back for suplex, but we had enough suplex already in the last episode. So let's go ahead and mess around with some plasma here. I kind of like trying different abilities from time to time. I think there's still quite a few abilities that I've never even tried during this playthrough. Uh, we could try dribble, but meh, that's fine. I don't think I've ever used like the, uh, the spider ability. I can't remember. Have I used Spider? I don't know, man. I think there's a few abilities I haven't tried, but there's quite a few of them in this game. That's kind of how Car uh, Kirby rocks. There's usually lots of different abilities, although it doesn't really matter too much what you use, because it's kind of just easy. You kind of just do whatever, so I don't really worry too much about playing this game optimally. It's such a, such an easy game that I'm just really not concerned with, uh, you know, I'm not like a challenge run or a speed run or anything like that. I'm just kind of goofing around and having a good time, and... You know, just taking things one stage at a time, seeing what, seeing what happens. Okay, so with this, we... Okay, are gonna get some food from this guy. Um, unfortunately, that will pause the screen for a while, but... All I gotta do is try not to get attacked by these guys, and... Try to hit them in the back will probably be the best. I don't know how we... Oh, wait, I think... Hmm, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the food he gave us might have gave us a stronger power up there. So, we were shooting further for a while, but now we're, we're back to pretty short range. So, I don't know if that was from Chef Kawasaki's food. 
but who knows, man. Okay, I'm trying to drop down. Didn't do so well there. Yeah, the plasma's not the best for this fight because it's such a short range without the uh, food buff or whatever that was before. Oh, those guys are knocked down. I could probably be hitting them while they're down there. Okay, they're down to kind of the halfway point. Maybe it's like the one-third point. I'm not really sure. Uh, do we have to break open this tower? Yeah, let's go ahead and break this open. And I don't know if that does anything good for us. Oh, okay. They're just going to keep running back and forth. They're really hard to hit, man. I wish we had some better teammates. Uh, the chef is not the best help for this one, I don't think. But, oh, well. Not going to worry too much about it. We'll just eventually win. We've got plenty of lives. Like, we're, we're not going to fail this one. It just might take a little bit longer than it should. Got some fire up there. Oh, it's not going to hit by those guys. I think flying over them and then hitting them in the back's a pretty good idea, but we can't really attack while while moving very well with this particular copy ability, so it's hard to chase them down. It can only hurt them for, like, a couple seconds. Or maybe I can do the... I don't know how. Okay, this, there's some way to do the longer range attack. I just don't quite understand how to do it. Uh, let's see if we can go revive this guy. This time it was Bugsy that died. Definitely want them to be back alive. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shoot. I'm just gonna try to kill all these little ones. Try to get the big one from the back. And I'm, I'm doing it really badly on this fight. It's taken way, way, way longer than it should. But just bear with me, guys. We're gonna get through it. Especially with all this extra food from Chef Kawasaki. Okay, everyone, just hit the guy. Just hit the guy. I'm gonna drop down, hit him in the back, or not. Okay, they... I don't know why he teleported down there, but he did. Well, I had, like, a super charged up one right there. Maybe Plasma has something like when you get hurt, it charges up. There's some trick to it. Something I don't quite understand, but there's some trick to it, I I'm pretty sure. Okay, we almost got him. Just a little bit of HP left. I guess we'll kill the small guys off real quick, but those aren't that important. We gotta kill the big guy. And I got, like, one little chip on that guy. Actually, I think Chef Kawasaki hit him pretty hard, which, you know, I was kind of just trashing on Chef Kawasaki for a second, but I think he helped out a lot. So, all right, guys, the fight took way longer than it probably should have, but we got it all the same. I think I want to change up my my friend lineup on the next episode, probably, because Bugsy is good on certain enemies, but other enemies, he's kind of useless. I want to try to build a team that has better range, so we'll probably try to do that next time. Or we could just go for the goo guy and have him <laughs> turn into anything that we possibly need. And that is the last rainbow puzzle piece for that particular board. We're done with that one. And with that, guys, we completed two more stages. Now, I do really want to try to beat this game this week. So I think what we're going to do, well, at least the main game. I'm not sure if we'll 100% it this week, but uh, I want to at least beat World 4 and finish off the main game. There's a lot of stages to go, as you can see. So I think from next episode on, we'll probably start doing three or even four episodes per video. So just a heads up with that, the videos might get a little bit longer from here on out. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time where we'll tackle a whole buttload of stages. I'll see you all then. Take care.